Good morning, everybody. How are you? There are now 95 days left until the end of the year. I feel like I'm doing a Christmas countdown. We talked yesterday about consistency and the importance of it. And I want to talk today about, I think, a clue I found about being consistent. I have struggled with consistency. I'm not going to lie. If there's something I know must be done by like 10 o'clock tomorrow, I can get it done. If it's, you know, a long-term goal, I'm up and down with it. And I'm going to use weight loss as an example because I know a lot of people don't typically don't go on diets now as we head into the holiday season. Although a little no unknown crazy thing about me, I always go on a diet in October. I can't explain it. it drives my husband crazy because I'm from the east. So it would have been snowy back then. It wouldn't be like we could get out of the house. I don't know. It's just how I've always been. If your goals don't empower you, if they don't inspire you to do greatness, then that's where consistently runs into the problem. It's when you have the most inspired goals that you complete it. And if you think back over the over the, your lifetime, you know, if it was if you're inspired because you're going to be in a school play, or you wanted to try out for basketball, or you wanted to be in a wedding, or you're going to get married, you're inspired to lose the weight. You're empowered because you have this goal that you really want to accomplish. That's how you have to set all your goals. You know, for you women over 50, we're gonna, I'm going to take you back and think about when you got married, the first time, second, or third time. How you were inspired to lose the weight because you had this goal that you wanted to look great at your wedding. You know, you might wanted to lose weight because you wanted to look great at your school reunion, at your high school reunion. You might had to lose weight because you had heart issues. There's a lot of reasons when you have goals like that, it's much easier to lose weight because you're inspired by it. So when you think about losing weight, typically you're like, well, I really want to lose 20 pounds, you know, because summer's coming. That's not empowering. That's not inspiring. You have to pick a reason why you really want to lose weight or you have, a, you know, you're starting your own business and you want to coach women on fitness. To say, I just want to coach women on fitness so they get in good health and they feel good about themselves may not inspire you. But, you know, if you think, I want to make a profound change in one woman. I want one woman to have this profound, cathartic change in her life from working out with me and getting her weight down, that that will inspire me. I mean, for me, in my business, you know, I teach women confidence, how to transform their lives, how to be the person they can be. You know, my, my crazy superpower, and I, it is kind of crazy, I see people as they could be if they believed in themselves. Whenever I meet somebody, I hate to say it, a vision pops into my head. Now, I'm not saying all people are like this. A lot of people are happy where they're at, but I'll look at some people and be like, oh man, if they just turn this one little key on. So what empowers me is watching that light bulb moment. My um, nephew hiked the Grand Canyon over the weekend, rim to rim. That is a bear. I don't know how many of you have ever done that. It's not something I aspire to. It's like a 30, 30 mile hike. It took him seven years. 17 hours, 17 hours of nonstop walking down the canyon, across the canyon, back up. And he was telling me about it and he said, you know, and the next day I got up and, you know, I went back to the site, he goes, and I looked over to the other side and I thought, I did this. I saw that light bulb moment. I saw that there is nothing I can't do. And that's what I see in people. So my, what inspires me is to, to help my clients get to that light bulb moment. That's my goal. You know, if I set a money goal, it doesn't do anything. If I set, you know, we're gonna get 20 members by next month, you know, it doesn't do anything. But if I can watch somebody have that light bulb moment, or in my day job, if I can help that person navigate the regulatory waters, to success, that lights me up. If I can help members help their residents have comfort and safety and joy, that lights me up. So if you're not being consistent, take time and look at, are your goals inspiring and empowering? And if not, then let's talk about it. Put it in your DM and we'll kind of go back and forth on your goals, you know, on what your goals are. Soon as you have inspired goals, getting out of bed in the morning will be a piece of cake. Consistency will be easy because you'll have your goals written down and you'll always have them where you can see them. 
and they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm kind of feeling mopey today. Oh, I want that light bulb moment. I got to get to work. I got to do what it takes for me to get to that light bulb moment. Hope this helped you guys. Today's what? Today's Wednesday. A couple more days before we hit the fourth quarter. Like I said, there's 95 more days left. We are going to get to the fourth, to the January 1st, and you guys are going to be like, have your hair on fire. It's going to be like in that, I haven't seen a new Top Gun movie, but the old Top Gun movie, when you're going really fast in a jet, that's how you're going to go into 2023. Have a great day, and here's to being free, be free in 2023.